Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a biome and add it to your world. Um, so if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to get notifications on the new videos I put out. Uh, so let's just get right into it. So in order to add a biome, uh, there are three things that you need to do. Um, you need to create the biome itself. Um, so but those are all its features and uh, things that show up in the world. Uh, then there's uh, registering the biome uh, so that the game actually knows that it exists. And then adding uh, a biome to a climate zone in the world. Uh, so, you know, that'd be warm, cold, etc. Okay, so let's get it right into it. I've already set up my mod here. Uh, so I've just named the mod ID to biomes. And I filled in all of this stuff into the fabric mod.json. I've set up the mixins and the folders as well. And I've created all of the... Uh, Java files necessary for this mod. So in our main entry point in biomes.java, I will start editing that and that's where our main file will be. So first off, we'll create a private class. We'll call it configured surface builder. And then I will call it ternary surface config. And then I will call this something specific like custom surface builder zero. And then I'll equal surface builder default with config and then this new config we'll set it as new and then we'll create a new ternary surface config so it's asking for three things the top material the under material and the underwater material okay so the top material uh, will be blocks so we'll set uh, blocks and then we'll pick a block Let's pick uh, basalt and then we will get default state. Next, the under material. So this is will be under the basalt that we just picked. So blocks, we'll set it to soul sand and then we'll get default state and then the underwater material uh, and this will be uh, blocks as well. And then uh, we'll just set it to just gravel, I guess, or yeah, gravel, and get default state. Okay, and then we got to close that off with the uh, brackets and the semicolon. Then we'll create a new class called private static final biome. And this will be the name of the biome. So uh, for now, we'll just call this custom land. Actually, we'll capitalize it. Custom land. And then we'll create a new function name here. And we'll call this create custom land. Okay, import that, and then this will create the method. All right, so we'll do some spawn settings. Uh, so this uh, is the builder for the actual biome. Uh, so we'll set the spawn settings for creatures and whatnot. So we'll do builder, we'll call this spawn settings equals new spawn settings dot builder and then we will call default biome features and 
and then we will add monsters. And so this is asking for several things. So uh, the builder name, so that will be spawn settings after uh, we created this builder. And then these are the weights in which zombies will spawn, zombie villagers will spawn, and skeletons will spawn. So we can set it to 95% uh, for zombies, and then zombie villagers to 5%, and then skeletons to 100%. And this will generate a weight uh, for each of those to spawn. And let's set um, add farm animals. And then this is the spawn settings as well for the builder type. Okay, and then we'll do some generator settings. So this generator settings uh, actually just adds features to the ground and lakes. Um, it's responsible for dungeons and or uh, and all things like that. So we will create a new builder for generator settings, and then we'll call it generator settings equals new generator settings, and then builders. I'll close it off with the semicolon, and then we will use generator settings builder and then surface builder and then we will target the surface builder that we just created up here and so we will use this and then now we're going to add features so default biome features and then let's add in dungeons. And the builder is this one. And then we will add in mineables. And uh, you can go through this list actually and just look at all the things you can add. Uh, there's every feature in Minecraft that you could add into this. Um, so feel free to go nuts, um, add as few or as little as possible. Um, but yeah, for, uh, for this case, um, we'll just add some more things like uh, land carvers, for example. These are things like ravines uh, and things that show up in the ground. We'll add a few more here. You can add a uh, default underground structures. That's things like uh, monster spawners and uh, certain cave structures. Okay, and so we'll go back to that return function that we deleted earlier and we'll create our own function. And we'll call this new biome builder. And then we will add in the features for the biome uh, that are associated to temperature and colors and spawn settings and all that stuff that we just done. And we will add it into the function here. So first, uh, we'll just add precipitation uh, and we'll set this to uh, uh, biome specific uh, precipitation. So we'll just set it to uh, rain and then we'll create a category for this biome and again it's biome category and then we'll set it to just none uh, just because it's not really anything like nether or beach or desert really um, and you can go nuts on this as well like feel free to change anything but I'll set it to none. And then we'll just add the default depth. Um, so I'll set this to 0.125F. Uh, this is a float value. 
and then we'll set the scale. Uh, this is a float as well. So we'll set the scale of the um, biome itself. And so we'll set it to 0.05F. Then we'll set the temperature. Um, so this is a float as well. And we'll set that. And downfall, I'll set the default uh, to just 0 .0, uh, 0 0.4F. And then I'll set the effects. So now this is all of the like watercolor and fog color, sky color, etc. So um, I'll just create a new biome effects builder. And then here I'll create a watercolor and then it is a hex code. So I have just uh, picked some off of uh, a website. So this one's like a red color and like a purple color and all these different ones I've added. And then we'll set a water fog color. So zero X, I just set it to this. It's just like a dark purple. And then this fog color, I set it to like a, like a red. And then the sky color, I set this to like a orangey red. And then the final is to build it. And then we'll do spawn settings and then we'll register our spawn settings that we just set up above. And then we'll put build. And then we'll do generator settings. Uh, and we'll use the generator settings that we created above as well. And we will build those. And then overall, we'll build everything here. Oops, I picked the wrong build. There we go. Just make sure that you use the custom builders that we uh, implemented up here. Okay, so we'll do public, static, final, and then we'll create a registry key. And then we'll call this biome. And we'll call this custom land key. And then we'll set the registry key of, and we'll just set this to registry and set this to biome key and this value will create a new identifier and this will be what uh, it shows up as uh, in game so if you were to custom uh, locate this biome uh, this is where it would show up as the ID and the name of the biome so uh, we'll set this to biomes, which is the mod ID, and then we will set this to custom lamb, and then we'll import identifier. And so uh, these imports were uh, util.registry.registry, .registry, and then util.registry.registry .registry key, and then it was util identifier. Okay, and so the last thing we need to do is we need to go to our uninitialized function. And we need to uh, add in some uh, registry uh, builders here. So uh, you can just go ahead and just delete that. It's just the default. And then we will do registry, register. And then we'll use built in registries. And then we will use configured surface builder. And then the ID, we will create. Uh, a new identifier, uh, which is exact same as the identifier above. Um, so what I'll do here is I will just create it as biomes, as the mod ID, and the name of the surface builder. Um, and so I'll just set this to what we set up as the top uh, surface building material was. So I'll just set it to basalt. And then the entry, that will be uh, what we named our entry point here. Paste that into there, semicolon. Uh, and then we'll do another registry. We'll register. 
now we've got to register the biome. Um, so we'll do a built-in registries again. Biome. And then the ID uh, is the key value that we had created. And that would be the custom land key. We'll get value. And then the entry, uh, that will be the name of the biome that we set up here. And we'll complete that with a semicolon. And then we will just quickly set up the overworld biome climate. So we will do overworld biomes add continental biome. And so the uh, biome is the key. So we'll do custom land key. And then the climate uh, is just overworld climate. And then we'll set it to temperate. And the weight is just a float. So we'll set this to 2D. And then we'll create another overworld biome. Add continental biome. We'll use the same key again. And then we will set this to overworld climate. And then we'll set this to cool. And then we will set this to 2D as well. Now, if you're like me and you get these squiggly uh, air, uh, yellow airs, um, it's just a, essentially a warning telling you that it is deprecated. So what you can do actually is uh, you can use these at symbols um, and you can add it to the top of your file here. So above the public class biome where it implements mod initializer, you can just do at uh, and deprecated. And then that will uh, just ignore those errors. Um, so you can continue on and, and uh, that won't uh, be screaming in your face anymore. And then the last thing you can do, uh, if you would like, is you can go into your uh, resource assets, your mod ID, lang, and then change the uh, ENUS or language type file here. Um, so I'll set mine to the mod ID. Um, this is just shows up in the F3 menu, or uh, if you were to basically just output biome lists, uh, it, it will show up like some weird uh, biome dot mod ID dot your biome name. Uh, so instead of that, this will just actually just set it to uh, like a localized text name. So what I'll do here is I'll set this to biome and my mod ID, which is biomes. And then whatever we set the uh, name of that, uh, we set it to custom land. So custom land, and then we'll set this to custom land. And there you go, that's finished. Now we can go ahead and test it by just running the Minecraft client. Okay, so to locate your biome, uh, like I said, you can just do slash locate biome. And then uh, we set the mod ID, so it will be biomes and then it will be customs custom land yeah here we go and press enter i'll give you the coordinates and you can just teleport to it okay and there you have it so we got the uh, custom biome that we created here uh, and now the sky is all changed color and water is that custom color i set up and the ground cover is that basalt and then underneath that is the soul sand that we had set up and of course the sky is orange. So if we leave this biome, uh, it'll go back to how you normally see Minecraft, but uh, yeah, there you go. All right, that's it for the biome tutorial. Uh, if you like my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any more suggestions, leave me a comment below.